Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going to be talking about The Hills Run Red. So, this movie, I've seen the, um, the actual, like, cover art for it, like, forevs on uh, Tubi, and I don't know. I just, I never thought about checking it out, and then, um... You know, one day a while back, I am I was listening to this horror podcast that I like called The Skeleton Crew. And it was like an older episode, and I think, and, the, and they were t basically talking about, like, they just, like, mentioned this movie. And it was kind of like a little social proof where, like, I always saw the cover, but I was like, I don't know, like, what's, what's the deal with this? Like, the cover kind of turned me off, like, the whole baby mask and stuff. I wasn't into it just from the cover but then I got that little social proof so I'm like you know let me check it out and you know I I had a good time with this I thought it was it was a solid horror movie it was it was pretty darn cool um I, I kind of I really liked the concept it was a it was a pretty uh fresh concept and I, I kind of liked the um the, it was kind of like an homage to a lot of 80s slashers and you kind of had this whole like lost film element so I thought that was really cool but now that I've given you all my overall thoughts I'm going to jump into a little uh, plot summary here so you got this guy his name's Tyler uh, he's he's a film student and he he's just obsessed with there's there's this movie uh, called The Hills Run Red, like, yeah, the, basically the title of this, the, the, there's a fictional movie in the movie, and it has the same title as the actual movie, so it's like, movieception, what the heck is going on, movie within a movie within a movie, but anyways, you got this guy Tyler, he's, uh, he's obsessed with this movie, The Hills Run Red, and he, it's like a lost film, the only thing it, it, you know, this takes place in like 2009, I think, uh, yeah, it does, but like that's when it was released, so it should take place in 2009, so this takes place in 2009, but the movie, The Hills Run Red, um, came out in the 80s, like 1984 or something like that, and basically, the all that's, like, it was like pulled, it was like pulled from theaters, there was, there was no release, um, the, the director disappeared. The only thing that's out there is a trailer. So this, this guy, Tyler, he's obsessed with this movie. He, he, he just like, he wants to search for it. He wants to find it. And one thing leads to another. He, he actually tracks down, uh, the daughter of the director who disappeared, the director of The Hills Run Red. Uh, he, he tracks her down. Her name's Alexa. She's, like, working at this strip club, and she's all strung out. She's, like, a big, like, drug addict and stuff. So he finds her, and she uh, takes uh, Tyler and his friends on this, like, you know, on this uh, journey into the woods to try to find the movie at the at the old house. So... Yeah, all the all the while, um, Tyler is trying to find the film. Him and his his friends, like his girlfriend and his other friend, they're uh, making uh, like a documentary of like the process of trying to find the film while they're trying to find the film. So they're trying to make this documentary. They're in the woods trying to find the the house of the director. Try to find film reels try to find the film and watch it and while they're in the woods trying to find the director's house the killer from the movie uh babyface comes through and starts picking people off and starts terrorizing people so that is the uh the basic plot summary there um now that i've given you all the little plot summary i'm just gonna get into some random things that I liked. So, um, the first, the first thing that I thought was cool was I liked the whole idea of, uh, of, uh, of a lost film. 
th this reminded me of there's there's this show that actually I think the show was like came out a, a, kind of around um, the time that this movie came out. It was maybe the show came out a couple years before. I think it came out like 2006 or something. But there's a show called uh, Masters of Horror, and it's it's uh, these kind of they're basically like short films. They're almost feature length. They're like 50 minutes, but each each episode is pretty much like a anthology series. Like there's no um, there's no connective story throughout. It's like each episode is its own different film, and they're all done by like different famous directors. And there's one John Carpenter did two episodes on Masters of Horror. But he did this one called Cigarette Burns, and it was about this uh, lost horror film, and like people who saw it just they all went insane, and that was kind of that was kind of like the concept of this. But I just you know besides besides that um, episode of Masters of Horror, I don't I don't really I don't really know of any other movies that are that kind of center around like a lost film and like a horror film that's so crazy that they had to, they had to, um, you know, take it out of theaters and no one could see it. So, um, that was, uh, that was a, like a pretty fresh concept. And I don't know. I just, I thought it was interesting. I, I think that there's, I don't know, like, I don't know if there's any lost films like that in real life, but that's kind of how I look at, um, like like out of print movies like when you're trying to find um movies that are like not on streaming and they didn't they're like out of print they don't really have like a new dvd release or a new blu-ray release there's something fun about that like even if the movie's not good like the search of the movie and just like the the curiosity to try to find it is uh it, it's just it's fun it's just it's just it's a good time. So I really like the lost film angle. Um, another thing that I liked was that, you know, this was a, a great homage to 80 slashers. Um, the, the lost film in the movie, you know, took place in the eighties and the, the trailer does, does really look like not the trailer for the actual movie, but the trailer for the movie in the movie has that 80s slasher uh, vibe and it just it feels I, I, it it mainly like if you were to compare it to like a big name franchise from the 80s I would say this really feels like a Friday the 13th it doesn't take place at a at a camp but it, it you know for the most part it takes place in the woods and the killer baby face he's very Jason-esque he's this big brute he doesn't really talk he does talk a couple times and that actually leads me to like another thing that i wanted to uh bring up so this this movie it does a good job of you know paying homage to 80 slashers and it does have uh a 80 slasher feel but it it breaks some rules like the killer is mute throughout but he does talk a couple times and you're like what it kind of like throws you off guard and then the killer's like shooting a gun at like at one point and I I, I feel like that that was done well too like because sometimes you, you might be mad and it's like they're they're breaking the rules there's rules you know like Randy from Scream there's rules but um I don't know I kind of like that because it was like there's this one guy and he's He's like got it like a flare and he's going up to baby face. He's like, come on, come on. What are you going to do? And it's like this big build up. And then baby face just like whips out a gun and shoots him. So I don't know. I feel like it was done well. And it kind of some of the stuff in this, like while it is, uh, does have like a lot of elements of like a traditional slasher movie. They kind of change stuff up a little bit where it kind of kind of keeps you on your toes. So I like that. And, uh, the last thing that I wanted to point out um, before I get to my recommendation, this is just kind of a fun fact, but I was looking, I was, you know, before I do the video, I do like a little research on Wikipedia because, you know, that's a top-notch source, very credible. 
but anyways, it was saying the screenplay for this film was written by David J. Show. I hope I'm pronouncing that name right. But, um, you know, I've been reading uh, the, the book Slash of the Titans about all the... Uh, all the different drafts of Freddy vs. Jason that were unused before the movie came came out and before it was actually, you know, filmed and they found the correct draft and it's, you know, about like the development hell of uh, Freddy vs. Jason, but David J. Show, actually he did a draft of Freddy vs. Jason, so I just think that's kind of cool. That's just like a little fun fact. Um, when I was looking at the Wikipedia, I'm like, David J. Show? Uh, wrote the screenplay that's that's nuts so I don't know I just kind of I thought that was kind of fun that there's a little Freddy versus uh, Jason connection there because you know I don't know Freddy versus Jason rules I, I love the 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 actual like finished film of Freddy versus Jason that's one of my all-time favorite horror movies I watch that on repeat but um, Reading the book Slash of the Titans is interesting to learn all of the the unused drafts because there was some some cool ideas. But I just thought that was cool uh, connection there. So yeah, now that I've gone over pretty much all the stuff that I wanted to go over, I'm gonna get into my little recommendation here, and then I'm gonna head out. So um, I thought I thought this was a a very it was a very solid horror film, so um, I would absolutely recommend this. Uh, if you're a horror fan, if you're a slasher fan, I would say check it out because it's it's very traditional. It it pretty much feels like a traditional slasher, but there are some unique elements, and there are. Um, it, it does change stuff up a little bit where it, it keeps you on your toes and it's, you know, keeps you interested and just it's action packed. Um, it's gory. It's scary. It's, it's a fantastic time. So I would 100% recommend this. If you haven't seen it, uh, definitely check it out if you're in the mood for a horror movie. Um, but now that I've given you all my recommendation, I'm going to head out here. And I just want to say thank you all very much for watching and peace out.